Hello everybody! In today's video, I'll show you how to translate text from camera, a dialogue, a voice message and handwriting with the help of Google Translate mobile app. It's difficult to underestimate the importance of this translation service, but most people tend to use only the standard translation window in the Google Translate app and overlook additional functions and features that can make things much easier for a tourist or even a common user. If you have ever used this translation service, today's video can be useful. In a few seconds, I'll show you in detail what Google Translate can do. Hello, friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you'll be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog, you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. Nowadays, the Google Translate app can work not only with the text you type on the keyboard, but also with the text captured with the phone's camera. Deal with simultaneous translation, handwriting, voice, and it can even translate from programs and entire documents. You can do it from the computer, in a browser window, or from the mobile app on your smartphone. The mobile app can be downloaded from the Google Play Store. So let's start as it goes with translation from camera. One of the extremely useful features in the mobile app is translating the text with the help of the camera in your smartphone. The ready translation will be shown in real-time mode instead of the text you are filming. Such instant translation would be very handy when you need to know what a street sign or notice means, so this feature must be invaluable for tourists. In order to enable it, open camera from the app's toolbox. When the camera is on, you can also open any picture you have taken before, which contains some text to be translated. Of course, you can type any text on the phone's keyboard and the app will translate it. But now Google Translate also supports handwriting. This feature is available both in the web version of the service and in its mobile app. In the first case, click on the pencil icon at the bottom of the input window. Having a touchscreen or a stylus is not necessary if you use this feature from PC. You can write from the browser with the mouse holding down its left button. Below the input area, words will appear which the service was able to recognize. In the mobile app, entering handwritten text is even more convenient. You can enable it by tapping on the pen icon, and then you can use your finger to draw letters or even words. This input method can be especially useful for those learning hieroglyphic languages like Japanese, Chinese or Korean. The Google Translate mobile app can pronounce the text you have typed and even translate from your voice. But there's a feature even more useful than that, and it's called Conversation. It lets you enable a special mode with simultaneous translation, so you can start a dialogue with a person from another country speaking another language. In this mode, the app will listen to every phrase and translate them into your companion's language, pronouncing the translation and showing it on the screen. To suggest someone to have a chat with the use of the conversation feature, select the language and tap the palm icon in the upper right corner. The screen will show a greeting message in the language you have selected. When using voice input, all you need is to pronounce the text, and the phone screen will display the text translated into the language you have selected. To do it, open the Google Translate app. In the upper part of the screen, tap on the buttons to select the language pair you need to use. Tap on the mic icon. If it's gray, it means the selected language is not supported yet. When you see the words Speak Now, pronounce the text you want to be translated. OK, that's fine. But what happens if there is no Internet access? Can this app work offline? Yes, it can. It's been long ago that the mobile app for Google Translate developed an ability to work even when the Internet connection is down. Just make sure to download dictionaries for the languages you use most often. 
You can do it from the app's side menu by selecting Offline Translation. In this section, you can both save language packs to your phone's memory or remove them. Tap on the icon next to a language for downloading the pack and tap on the Recycle Bin icon to remove it. You can save all translations of words and phrases to your own dictionary, so that you can go back to them if necessary. Do it by tapping on the star icon. In the mobile app, you can see it next to the translation, and in the web version of the service, below the translation. You can access the list of saved translations on your smartphone by opening the main menu and tapping on Phrasebook. On PC, you can access this section by clicking on the Star button over the translation area. Here is one more useful feature – translating text from other apps. Google Translate for mobile devices offers a very convenient option of quick translation from any application where the text can be selected. For example, you don't need to copy the text from a document, just highlight it and open the context menu by tapping on three dots. And then tap again for translation. Its window will appear over the window of the app where the text is opened, and you can change the language or listen to the text if necessary. This function can be enabled in the app settings, in the section with the naturally expected name Tap to Translate. If you ever need to translate a whole website, there are several ways to do it. For example, you can just copy and paste some text into the app. It's convenient when dealing with small fragments of text. Besides, you can copy a link to the website and paste it into Google Translate. In the window on the right, the link to the same website will appear, but then its contents will be translated into the required language. If you use Google Chrome, you will see the Google Translate icon to the right of the address bar when you visit a web resource in a foreign language. By clicking on it, you can get an entire website translated within a few seconds. Finally, the last option is translation of documents, and it only works with a web version of this service. It lets you upload a text document from your computer and view its translation. The list of supported file formats includes the following – doc, docx, odf, pdf, ppt, pptx, ps, rtf, txt, xls, xlsx. You can see all the formats on the screen. To upload a document, click Documents here and give the path to a specific file on your computer. When the file is selected, click Translate. The text will open in the same window. At times, the quality of such translation leaves a lot to be desired, but this function can be useful when you deal with nothing but simple documents. And that is all for now. Hopefully this video was useful. Remember to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell button to receive notifications and never miss new videos. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck.